So somebody on Facebook asked this. So what are the main differences between Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager? Imagine Google Tag Manager being this empty box on your website that holds everything. So inside of Google Tag Manager is where I put my Facebook Pixel, my Google Analytics. It is a container that holds all of these things. My TikTok Pixel, my remarketing tag, my conversion tag. So it is the box that holds all of my tracking info. So if I spin up a landing page, all that I have to do is just take my Google Tag Manager, copy and paste onto that landing page. It takes in all of my tracking info and it's just replicated right there on that. So it is a container. It is also something that is listening to my website. So listening for specific events. Do they click a certain button? Do they scroll so far? And then if they do, then I'm gonna send that data into my analytics. So imagine analytics is your data warehouse where you're sending data in. Well, Tag Manager is where we connect your Google Analytics to your website. It's the in-between, but it's also where we create all of these things called events where then we push those events into our analytics. Let me give you an example because this is getting a little bit fuzzy. Let's just say that your business runs on phone calls. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea to get book phone calls to get people on the phone to sell to them. So how do we send in events to your analytics with a phone call? In times, like I use Calendly on my website. So Calendly is a phone booking or phone call booking software. So what we can do with Calendly is we embed it on our website. So it's an iframe embed. If you don't know what that means, basically it's not really sitting on your website. It's not sitting on your server. It's sitting on somebody else's server, but it's just embedded in your website. So how do we connect that to your analytics? Fortunately, it has some integrations, but you could use Google Tag Manager to do this. So Google Tag Manager could listen to Calendly to see if somebody books a phone call. And then it would take that listening event and send that information into your analytics. Now, if you use something called UTMs, which is week three in Mastering Funnels, you will know exactly where somebody booked that phone call from. So if it was an ad, if it was an email, if it was a blog source, it was whatnot. That is how you really understand the internet right there. That is the hidden um, sauce of the internet is UTMs. So that is, that's the main difference. So Google Tag Manager is where you're housing all of your tracking elements. Google Analytics is your, your sort of data vacuum that's just sucking everything in and understanding where your traffic is coming from and then what they're doing on your website. So really good question. If you understand these two things, my goodness, you could create a very successful business just doing these two things for businesses setting up their Google Analytics and setting up their Google Tag Manager. At the end of the day, internet marketing all comes down to understanding how to read patterns of data. If you can understand how to read patterns of data and where certain clicks are moving the needle for your business, then that is all that you need. Most businesses fly absolutely blind when it comes to understanding their data. Why this is so powerful is because if you can connect your ad spend or your efforts or your time to an actual revenue, then that gives you an ROI. So if you are running ads on TikTok and you're spending $50 a day, and you know that you can close a client or close something every week, and that revenue is somewhere like $2,000, then your ROI into TikTok is obviously your time in creating the ads, but in, in, in terms of your ad spend, that's seven times 50, somebody do some quick math, that would be $350. You yield $2,000 on the other side. Why would you ever stop? Why would you ever stop? You would stop because you can't follow it all the way through. So if you don't have Google Analytics, you can't understand that. If you don't have a conversion, if you don't have a thank you page, you're just not gonna know. So again, this is the way that you, you use the internet, you read the numbers.